That's cool. So this is called uh, Dream O oh Dream of Sailing Seas and Shining Seas, Yes Indeed, 1979. I did this when I was a graduate student at the University of Missouri at Columbia in printmaking and drawing. And, and some have said they see in it. I remember Christian. several people saying that there was very kind of a Christian kind of iconographic mm -hmm. type of image for mm -hmm. them. Sure. Well, I could say in kind that that so much of Christian art comes out of Jewish art that I would say it is a very Jewish image. But Thank maybe you. Uh, both. No, that, that <laughs> folks like me need to hear that because mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. we think, mm -hmm. oh, all, all of our art is our art. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it is a stylized a kind of a the word pieta isn't correct, because the pieta is the Christ figure descended from the cross, frequently held in Mary's arms. This is like Jesus in death. Hmm. Interesting. Um, his, his head hung forward, um, and, hmm. and vaguely one might see the arms of a cross up here. Mm -hmm. So I can understand somebody looking at that and seeing it hmm. that way. But, see, I, the interpretation I've never heard before from anyone, it's very interesting hearing a Christian's... Uh, a viewpoint, uh, uh, but but it's way imposed. Yeah. I mean, mm. if you look at it with any intention, I mean, you mm. have to see other figures. Mm. Um, other figures? Oh, uh, sorry. One has to see the ship. The ship One, was actually meant to be a. Uh, it was like a ship in a bottle. In a bottle. Although the, the this part of the bottle came out rather. It should have been like kind of stretched. High, I think. Yeah. Yes. That's what I remember. It's hard well, to tell if a person, if, if the person we're seeing is, is swooning, perhaps asleep, well, dreaming. <laughs> um, Excuse me for giggling, and I'll try to make the shirt so we don't get like more than three to four minutes here. But I did it. It was the last etching I did before like the review at the end of the semester. <laughs> and I, uh, a couple of students, including this art student, um, we were all doing like all-nighters in the art department. He was asleep on a couch near the printmaking room. Perfect. I drew him lying down. He's lying down. Indeed. Yeah, it had to be probably the yeah, other way. This way. I would think so. Let me think. Actually, yeah, it must be this way. Because would, I would guess I don't so. remember now. <laughs> yeah, okay. But he okay. was, and I, I did it as a line etch, so it was just his head like the arms, all of this stuff was done later on, and there's the acid etching process, so yes. just the outline of his arms, yes. the uh, t-shirt he was wearing, mm -hmm. um, belt the buckle. belt, and his head. And uh, I worked on it all night long, printed a print in the morning, at some point or other during the day we had the review, and I had my, my, et my last etching I needed. <laughs> and then, later on, over the following few days or whatever, a week or two perhaps, I turned it sideways, and I'd say, oh, it works really well, I mean, vertically. Vertically. And that's how it happened. Then I added the, the black and all this, like aqua tinning it's called, and the, we have all the tone and stuff. Dreams. So Brad, Brad Fugate, I've looked on the internet from several oh. times over the years.